Hey Clubsters, it's Tuesday. I am at a cemetery. At least one of us was bound to do it, right? I'm not very good at big, grand, cohesive thoughts of Thoughts from Places videos, so I'm just going to talk a little bit. So I've been thinking a lot recently about family for two reasons. So my mom called me about two weeks ago and told me that my grandma's really sick and it's looking like she might pass away soon, so I, I need to be ready. So I already have like a bag packed and ready to go for whenever I need to go to Puerto Rico to do the funeral and the rosary and all that. But the thing is, I was never close to my grandma growing up. I met her like five times when I was younger, and only recently that I started seeing her more. So she doesn't feel like family. On the other hand, I've been thinking a lot about communities because the fourth estate, the first one that we went to, there were 600 of us, and most of us are still active on the Facebook page, and we consider each other a family, and that's how we refer to each other. And last January, one of the girls, her name was Alandria, she was shot and killed. And because the fourth estate, the second one is coming up this summer. We've all been getting our applications accepted and we're getting ready to go and we're talking about how we're going to be together again and we're all excited. We've been talking about Alandria and how we miss her and how we wish she was there because she's part of our family. And it's really interesting because I'm more affected by the memory and death of Alandria than I am with my grandma who might die soon. So I am a firm believer in the fact that family doesn't end with blood and it's about communities that you belong to and the connections that you make and the impact that you leave on other people. And so I'm really happy to be part of the fourth estate and Nerdfighteria, and everything else. I've also seen a lot of headstones that are kept really clean, and they died in like 1960, and then there are some that died in like 1998, and they're pretty dirty, and you can tell they haven't been visited in a while. And that's another example of why it's good to belong to communities, because your cousins and your children may visit you in your headstone, but, your headstone, your grave, but if you belong to communities, you have these people that you've affected and that you've been friends with who will visit you. If I'm ever in Landry's part of town, I plan on visiting her grave. I think we found a guessing man love kind of thing. Lucy was born in 1899, which is not buried here, so you should figure out what happened to her. So I'm running out of memory on my card. So that's about it. I just wanted to say that family does end with blood, and I'm really happy to belong to communities like Fourth State and Nerdfighteria. So if I'm not close to my family later on, I still have friends that will visit me. And I will visit you if I'm ever in your neck of the towns after you die. That sounds horrible. I'm going to stop now. Brett, I'll see you tomorrow. Hi. Uh -huh.